I think it's probably time to get to the bottom of what's going on with the Geth. So let's actually head out to Novaria and see if there's anything we can find. Now, I say that like it's going to be easy for us, but I don't think it's going to be. <laughs> Let's back out of here. Let's head to Novaria. Let's actually... Well, yeah, let's head in here. This is this is actually a lot more specific. So this is Novaria. It seems to be in the Horsehead Nebula, which is a fantastic thing to name. Message coming anything. in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge okay. on the Presidium. I'll get there when I have the chance. Alright, so we have Novaria here. Let's just check out the other planets really quickly. See if there's anything that we can pick up on. Nothing so far. Oh, no, this one we can. Let's survey what's here. Scans of the planet Villiers revealed a small abandoned vessel. Your salvage team brought the ship on board and dismantled it, whereupon they discovered one of the Matriarch Delinaga, Delinaga's writings. We keep finding a ton of these different writings. Alright, so let's head to Novaria. Small frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It's privately charted by the Novaria Development Corporation. The lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. All right. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council spectre aboard. Landing access granted. Huh. Normandy. That was Advised, easy. We will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. We're what fine a with fun that. Bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> All right, so let's get off of this ship. I think I'm going to bring, I kind of want to bring Liara, test her out, see how she does out there. And let's bring Rex because he can't... Well, actually, Ashley's got... Technically, Ashley the racist <laughs> has better combat abilities, but he's got a good mix. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if I... I don't know how I feel about Ashley. I don't know if she's quite racist, but she is... Equalizing uh, interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. She's definitely made some questionable comments, but I mean, who hasn't? Okay, are you gonna scan me? Is that what's happening here? I need to get my blood flowing. Find me something to kill. I mean, maybe we won't even. I mean, maybe I didn't even need to bring Rex because it seems like people are manning these stations, so. Yeah, like these guys. I doubt we're gonna just have an all-out firefight against them. That's far enough. Uh, okay. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm a specter. Just saying. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, ma'am. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. No. Oh, God. Okay, well, maybe we are thrown down. 
Don't try it. Stand down. Their house, their rules. Don't come crying to me when they slice your gut open. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. Boom. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Maybe ask more questions before you start going all nutty. Get out of here. Okay. You guys are friendly. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Alright, what do we got here? Not much. I don't know what the hell kind of machine that would be. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. You know what, you did help us, so... I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. <laughs> Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Because they live really long? That's unusual? funny. An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Uh-oh. Benezia. She is here? We need to find her can now. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If Multiple. you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. We talked about her before. But things change when you're up against something. If it's her or me, who would you shoot? I meant what I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. It's. I think that would actually give us an upper hand, her being there. I hope so. I accept your word, Liara. Let's get going. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. All right, so... Didn't they say we need to go up? Oh, I guess this will take us up. Actually, before we hop in here, let's see. We've got a few things we need to look into. I definitely want to get this unity going. And then probably, well, that's tempting. I think I'm going to increase my, th well, maybe I should go for warp so that I can get barrier. And barrier will give me shields. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And Liara, let's see what you would do. Warp. So you have all of the same abilities as me, plus some. Which is pretty impressive, actually. I like your loadout. Okay, cool. I trust that these guys can develop themselves in the best way possible, but... You never know. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Unless you're respected. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Managers warned us about you. Oh, come on. Hey, a Hanar. Let's talk to him. 
This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Jeez, that's fast. News travels <laughs> fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Uh, that is interesting. Maybe I could steal the item. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. <laughs> Let's, um... Yeah, let's see I won't see what carry it is. anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. Yeah, within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Interesting. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for, or I walk out. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. All right. Let's do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Just for agreeing to is this. Is there anything else this one might help you with? He should be giving me discounts. Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Uh, let's view some standard items. Let's see. Grenade upgrade. May not be a bad idea. Increase grenades by one. I've heard that I should be saving these licenses. Some people on the ship were talking about this. Uh... This is the, the quartermaster guy. I don't know if I should be keeping these or selling them, but... Alright, so we've got a few th things out of this guy. You agreed to help Opold. His package has been left outside the Normandy in the docking bay. Alright, interesting. Let's see, maybe some of these things I can reduce to Omnigel. We'll keep a couple of backups, just in case. I have a ton of sniper rifles. I think what I'll probably end up doing is changing like the cheap ones into Omnigel and then selling more expensive ones. This sniper rifle, like that's pretty good. Too bad nobody can use it here. In this crew. Now she can wear human armor. Let's give her this. And Erdot, you're already beast, so we're set. Now, we were still going to Let's go to peak 15 here. Elevator to hotel. Open shop. Ah, uh, here it is. Analeas. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. I'm just gonna check out the area, see if there's anything else going on before we go in and talk to him. The managers warned us about- They say there hasn't been an accident on peak 15, but everyone knows. Interesting. Every time I come here, there's a damn blizzard. You frequent this place.
All right, so this will take us to who knows where. Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns. Okay, everybody is just uptight about these weapons. Meanwhile, these guys are walking around with pistols. I'm seriously questioning their judgment. Beep beep. Spectre coming through. Okay, where is Analeas? How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. These people will smile to your face while they stab you in the back. Oh, that's... That sounds fun. Oh, it's a Solarian. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. <laughs> wow. Sounds fun. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Okay, well, just work with me. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Okay, that's interesting. Is there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. Things will return to normal in a few days. And Peak 15's where Benezia is. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at Peak 15. So, this guy doesn't think that's sketchy, or he's covering for her? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. You let Asari who can kill you with their brains run around, but give us flack about guns? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. No, no, no. He's covering. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. <laughs> the roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Shepard, I am sure that there are other people here who could help us. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you... Okay. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and... What surface brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. What are the issues? Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Ooh, I'm not throwing Opal under the bus. I like those Hanar. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. No, yeah, dither, dither. Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a path to leave Hanchan. Speak You've up. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Okay, what else can you tell me about this place, specifically this Peak 15? I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. Like, come on. What kind of weather cuts modern communication? A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Uh... Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. What corporations work on Peak 15? Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. 
Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. What does Binary Helix do exactly? Binary Helix? They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. I wonder if this has anything to do with what Kaiden was Kaiden Kaiden was talking about uh, with the bot, the B A H T training or B A A T. I can't remember. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. Okay. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. All right, tell you what. We are going to go back to the docking bay, find out what this package is, and if poss if it's something I could use, I'm just going to take it because, I mean, why not? <laughs> It's either that or I give it to him and potentially have that come back to bite me or rat him out and then feel good about myself temporarily while I pissed off somebody else who asked me to do something illegal. So it's like debatable, but still I'm going to have to live with those decisions. I get the impression though that Hanar aren't like aren't well respected but I just find them fascinating maybe, maybe it's maybe I shouldn't let my fascination get in the way of my judgment though okay where is this package oh there it is All right, let's figure out what this is. We recovered Opal's package. It appears to be a powerful experimental weapon mod. Well, like, can I not just... Oh man, I don't know. It doesn't appear that I can actually use it, but I don't know if I want to give it back to him. The, he said specifically it wouldn't hurt anybody in this port or whatever, but I'll be keeping my eye on you. I need to get my blood flowing. Find me something <laughs> to kill. Soon enough, Rex. Soon enough. Oh, how am I going to talk this guy into telling me, first of all, what this is? Second of all, <laughs> convince him to give it to me. I'll just, I should just bully him. We'll see. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Um, well... I want to know where this package is going. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. Now, does the other have the package? Change of plans. I've decided to keep it myself. You cannot do that. 
Inamorda will be furious with this one. This one wants the other to leave now. Well, that's too bad. Chemical rounds three. Uh, yeah. I'm okay with this. I don't feel that bad. I, ha I have a feeling that it'll somehow come back to bite me. But, uh, this is pretty good. Popular with pirates, criminals, and mercenaries. Yeah, these rounds are coated with a highly toxic compound. Plus 40% toxic damage. So this would be good against, I guess, anything that's not death. Right? Let's load them in, and then if we find geth, we'll switch it out. And these guys, let's actually double check. So Liara doesn't use any weapons, so basically just a pistol. And then assault rifles and shotguns for the big man. Let's hook him up. Give him the heat sink. And he can use armor piercing against... Well, actually, again, let's go chemical rounds until we find out if there's synthetics. And we'll go... Anti-personnel rounds. And then for Liara... There's no sense giving a combat sensor because I already have a better one. So we'll go... Anti-personnel as well. 